the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show with Billy the Kid and Scott Tang. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show! It's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah? It's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah! What's going on? I'm Scott. And I'm Bill. And this is... The Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. At the number 118. Is John here? God, no, John's not here. Alright, so he's not here, so we can be... Uh, we can How does it feel to have a, a full volume. week of freedom, Bill? <laughs> uh, it feels... Does it feel liberating? Almost nostalgic, because okay. I know that it's going to go away soon. So, But hey, we might have actually some uh, some things coming in the near future that we got some leverage with. So. <laughs> I didn't want to use the word leverage, uh, but you did it, so yeah. Uh-oh. Okay, so let's get going here. Um, We got to talk about Kylie Jenner. Is she a... Like, using her baby to get likes on Instagram. We're going to get into that in a second. Yes. We got some crazy McDonald's and getting engaged talk coming up, which is one of the reasons why Bill loves fast food. So the question is, is Bill engaged? What? We got uh, Russell Wilson talk. We got some albums that drop tomorrow. The new emojis that are coming out this year. What? But first, let's just get into it with Kylie Jenner. I just referred to myself in third person. I feel I feel like I need to apologize for that. I'm sorry. I retract. Don't retract nothing. No more retractions. No more. We're not, are we done with no. retractions? I was going to retract something I said the other day, but I refuse to retract is this, anything. Is this Brave New Cubicle show? Well, we don't apologize. It's a we brave just say no things. Cube. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kylie Jenner. Okay, so that baby picture right here that uh, we showed you the other day, it currently is now the most liked picture ever on Instagram. And how many likes does it have? If you give me one second, I will tell <laughs> you that, my friend. So Kylie Jenner's uh, picture right now has 13.6 million likes. She posted the picture on Wednesday, so in just a couple days here, or as of yesterday afternoon, it had 13.6 million likes. Uh, she beat out Beyonce's uh, picture that the she... The pregnancy announcement that looked like a funeral and a wedding and a pregnancy all mixed together from last February? That is a fact. That one had 11.2 million likes. Then there was a picture of the soccer star. What's his name? Cristiano Ronaldo. And his girlfriend's fourth child, which has 11.3 <coughs> million <coughs> likes on uh, Instagram right now. So is Kylie doing this to get likes? Is she going to benefit from having her child on there? Obviously. Because right now, the picture actually, as of today, has 15.178 oh, wow. million likes. That's 2 million, million likes, likes since yesterday after not even a full 24 hours? Right. What I think is the most surprising thing about this is that the most liked picture on Instagram only has 15 million. That seems like a low number for like the most liked picture of all time. So Kylie has 103 <coughs> million followers. So she's got like more than 10% of her followers like this picture. That's not bad. Not bad. That's pretty good odds. I would Jeez. take 1%. If I could get 10% of my followers, I would get 60 likes. <laughs> Or something like, no, 30 likes. If I had 1% of my followers, I'd get like 400 likes. You, how many? That would be like, we have like 4,000? No. 40 likes? No, 1% of 4,000 would be like, yeah, 40. 40? Yeah, 40. 10% well, would be 400. So I don't know how to do that. It's not what I do good. I speak French perfect, though. Either way. Math or English. We can talk about your grammar then too. What's grammar? Speaking. Oh. <laughs> What's my that grammar, word mean? My grammar. I would just like to say, as Immaculate. the chief editor of the Cubicle Show captions, my grammar is on point. On fleek, as some would say. My grammar was a sweet lady. You leave her out of this. <clears throat> now, speaking of likes and percentages, I want to talk about how Twitter, as it stands. Oh, I, th I think I just. I'm sorry. Hang on. I just yeah, come on, don't be spitting all over my computer <laughs> so, here. So sorry. Um, Twitter. I may not speak a good, but uh, he's really only I don't geared be spitting towards the one percent. Here's here's my stay woke. Okay. Moment. All right. Think about this. What do you see a lot on Twitter? You see posts from people with like hundreds of thousands or millions of followers getting retweeted a lot because they already have a ton of followers to retweet their content. But with Twitter's this is a relatively recent development that they try to figure out the stuff you like the most. Uh -huh. So you don't see your timeline necessarily in order. You see it in order of what 
Twitter thinks you're going to like. So obviously they're pushing content that's already being retweeted a lot, right. which tends to bury the stuff from people who don't have a lot of followers, regardless, regardless of its quality. So it's basically just the social media version of the rich get richer. The poor, I guess, don't get poorer because you just you kind of just stay yeah. where you are. But like, you know, the people that are already doing well, just keep doing better. Yeah. Now, I tried. I tried to counteract this yesterday. I posted a tweet about pizza and about how double cheese. Well, this is. Oh, no. Oh, OK, this is OK. This is I was getting into this. Posted a tweet about how double cheese on pizza is the only is the minimum acceptable amount of cheese. And I got a couple of girls who like this tweet. And I'm like, if you agree with me <clears throat> that double cheese is the only acceptable amount, then why are you not retweeting this? Why are you only liking this? What are you ashamed of? So then I then posted this tweet right here. Oh, wait. Which is Kylie Jenner's <laughs> baby with Post Malone. That one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, it said, they added this cool new feature to Twitter for things you like and or agree with. It's called retweeting. Y'all should try it out. Mm. Which is admittedly pretty heavy-handed. I did get five retweets. As of this. right now, as of the screenshot, it only has five retweets. It has retweets. five retweets, which means that how many followers do I have? 686, which means that 681 people that I follow don't know how to read. Um, but what I want I do want to point out, I want to call a couple people out in particular. Um, because I don't know if they were just really poor at following directions or if they're just trolling Allie, who literally just liked the <laughs> Tweet right. and did not retweet it. Ali and Rye Guy. So I'm I'm calling them out. Well, they did show you some support by liking it, right? Yeah, but why? How are you gonna see that tweet and not retweet it? Here's the thing. Unless, unless, and I I do I will respect the troll game if you're like I'm I'm gonna like this on purpose and like explicitly not retweet it. If that's the angle, then fair. But all right, well. Here's what I gotta say. Number one is if you like somebody's tweet, it shows up on everybody's timeline anyway. Yeah, that's also true, actually. That's starting to happen a lot, so right? fair point. But it doesn't show up on their timeline. So if you go to their page and you're scrolling down their timeline, you will not see their uh, that, right. that retweet, right? You would only have to see it if you went to their likes. So I guess if you favorite it, you're still allowing people to see it. Their followers will see what they like. I but suppose maybe get that's the, not the a retweet. definite. I know. I'm just I'm just taking the opposite. And I, I will agree say no, no. I will I say that there are times when it's a good idea to like a tweet and not retweet it. For example, if it's like got a lot of profanity and that's not what you like. I like this. I want to respect the fact that you did a good tweet, but I don't want to broadcast it to the world. Or if it's like a conversation with your friends where it's like an inside joke without context context that wouldn't make sense if you retweeted it but with quality twitter like this oh i'm sorry i didn't know that you were wanting your you gotta move your hand so i could read the screen down there okay that like, oh wait i'm moving stuff to the wrong thing this it's really hard to do this in the mirror see then you just you just wait hold on can you put it in my hand yeah there we go with quality twitter like this <laughs> Just go, just smash that retweet button. Go do it at Billy Kid Radio, just right now. Put up Please your hand thank again. You. What tweet? That one. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, one more time. What tweet? I can. It's so good you can hold it in your hand. Ready? Watch this. Well, I'm gonna squish this okay. out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We had too much fun with that. Oh so, yeah, um, that wasn't supposed to be that fun. That was like when I was reading the Trump tweets and I was just dying laughing and I was like, wait, this is not supposed to be this funny. Well, anyways, so uh, speaking of Twitter and everything, a big thing that segway, people love segway, to throw segway, into their segway. tweets and into their posts yeah, and their comments we'll and is emojis. You put a little laughing face, you put like a fist, you put flex in, some little hard eyes, yeah, you do some stuff, you know what I mean? You do that? <laughs> the hands up emoji, yeah. Well, it was just announced that there is going to be 157 new emojis in 2018. Do you know there's like an emoji council that decides this stuff? I did not. It's not. They, they don't work for a particular company. It's like Unicode. Um, like there's, there's a certain group of people. So it's like a Almost, committee with the Grammys, how they vote yeah, for the, the winner right. and now they vote for the... Almost as though, you know, emojis are another language and they decide which one's are allowed so here's a quick run through then i'll uh, get into and i'll show you some pictures here of the stuff so the list like i said 157 new emojis will come out in 2018 and the summer or fall there has it so it'll be hitting your phone throughout the summer or fall i guess probably depends on your 
your operation system and all that probably, right? So they're going to include things like people with red hair, bald people, um, superheroes. Okay. Um, um, toilet paper. Nice. A hippo. <laughs> okay, so now let's really break it down, right? And I'm going to throw up some pictures. Oh, I got that. So this is a sampling of the sampling new... Sampling. Okay, so when they say superhero, they mean like generic superhero. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I guess not like a... Not Spider-Man. Not Spawn. Yeah. Not any other Black superhero Panther. that begins with SP. Um, but, <clears throat> okay, so there's going to be six new yellow faces, including a hot face, a cold face... And one that's partying. I don't know if these are on the pictures that I have here. No, I'm just taking a look um, at, at what what's available because this is the first time right. you came out. I came out and you were like, you hear about the emojis? And I was like, no. Learn me during the show. Now there's going to be men's and women's faces with red hair, brown curly hair, and white hair. Oh, and bald faces. No more having to use the moon emoji or the volleyball Emoji. I guess uh, a lot of people that are bald, I guess they were using that emoji. I don't know about that one, but that's according to this list. Um, there's going to be superheroes and supervillains with different skin tones and hairstyles, which you can see down here at the bottom of this thing. You got some superheroes and everything right there. I wonder how you distinguish between the heroes and the villains, though. Right? Hmm. Hmm. I guess the ones that... Uh, the ones that have villainous-looking handlebar mustaches are the villains? Probably. Okay. <laughs> they can twirl them. They're the VOD villains. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's too good. And uh, there's some other ones since we're going to get into a here. A magnet, an infinity so, symbol, a chess piece, a softball, a compass, a boot. There's going to be legs, feet, a bone, and a tooth. A tooth? Yep. Dang, all the times I needed a tooth emoji for when I hit him with the tooth. So then they stay woke. A tooth. Um, new animals, including raccoons, hippos, kangaroos, a swan. Do you think there will be a black swan with a knife? I don't know. Let's ask Darren Aronofsky. <laughs> Get it? Meta <laughs> joke from 2010. Yeah, that's so good. What a callback. <laughs> and a peacock. And then there's going to be some random new objects like a skateboard, which I'm surprised wasn't on there already, a teddy bear, cupcakes, softball, uh, some receipts, magnets, a uh, ball of yarn, sponge, toilet paper, and a pirate flag. I like the pirate flag. Not going to lie. I don't use emojis that much. I like to use words. Um, no disrespect to people that do use emojis, and I, and I do think they have an, an interesting variety here. And I like the toilet paper. Because toilet paper is, you know, somebody tweeted, speaking of toilet paper and tweets and emojis, somebody tweeted that every time you go to the grocery store or there's a store and you see somebody buying toilet paper, you're like, eh, that's going to be for poop. Because <laughs> it is. I yeah. hadn't thought about that before. Oh, man, what a, a poopy situation. All right, so McDonald's also, um, about to, we're getting into the tail end of things here. But McDonald's, this is one of the reasons why Bill loves fast food. Yeah, and it's because, only right that we bring this up here. Because McDonald's has created a $12,500 Big Mac ring that they're giving away for Valentine's Day. If you tweet about your love for Big Macs, the best tweet gets this Big Mac ring. Um, but I think we can bring this back to Twitter being for the 1%. How are they going to determine which one's the best tweet? They're probably going to see it because it's going to get a lot of responses. And which one's going to get a lot of responses? One's from bigger accounts. The best tweet? Gets the best eats. Hey. There you go. There it is. So, Bill, like you teased in the beginning of the show, are you engaged, my friend? Is this your fiance's hand with the Big Mac ring? No. Not engaged. Is it? <laughs> I, I just wanted to create some controversy. Wow. No. Nope, plus, that would be awfully stupid of me because that's the wrong hand. Ooh. Put the engagement ring on the on the left hand. Wow. I don't even I don't even think this is supposed to necessarily be an engagement ring. It's just a ring, just an expensive I don't ring. Know. Valentine's to show Day off your, and anything your bling over Mac. And a, a ring that costs more than a hundred dollars sounds like an engagement ring to me. Sure. Yeah, I guess you could use it as such. <laughs> all right. Well, anyways, Russell Wilson, you know I'm the quarterback for the Seahawks. He's won a Super Bowl, all that good stuff. He got traded to the Yankees. Yeah. Yes, we don't okay. really cover sports that much, but this was pretty big news. This yesterday. is, I mean, this is multi-sport pop culture right here. Russell Wilson went to the Yankees yesterday in a deal they gave up some um, future considerations, so I guess some prospects for the rights to Russell Wilson. Now, you got what you got to keep in mind here is that he's not actually going to be playing both football and baseball, which is what makes this weird. 
here's what happened. I'm going to lay out this timeline for you real quick. Russell Wilson was drafted in 2007 by the Baltimore Orioles. He was like the like 1100th or 1400th mm. draft pick. It was it was really late. Um, but he decided to go to college instead. He was then drafted again in 2010 by the Colorado uh, Colorado Rockies. Played a couple seasons of minor league ball with them before deciding to look for an NFL career, which obviously worked out for him. But somehow, since he's still in the MLB system, um, the Texas Rangers got hold of his rights in 2013, and now the Yankees just traded for him. So he's going to go to spring training. And it basically, like I said, it sounds like this is all just for fun. But I think... It's a little pre-workout for him for the football season, all that too. You I know? think we have a stay woke moment here too, because... Russell Wilson says he's, you know, going to go after football, but what if he's going to show up and like, well, if I make it, I'm going to play baseball too. That wouldn't be unheard of. Deion Sanders played both baseball and football. Bo Jackson played both baseball and football. So it's not like it's impossible. Or what if he's just trying to cultivate um, a second career in case football doesn't pan out for him in the future? In case he goes the way of Colin Kaepernick. Well, that's what I was thinking. Like, I mean, he could be done with football in like a year or two. He could get a little injury that's going to prevent him from performing at the highest level. But he may be able to still go and swing a bat. Exactly. And be a designated hitter because allegedly he's even better at baseball than he is at football. And plus, you know, you think about how bad football generally is for your body. Maybe he wants to... Like, you know what? Well, he's a quarterback, so I guess he doesn't get hit that much. But, um, but you know, maybe he wants to step away from that and be like, I'm going to go back to baseball because he did say that baseball was a large part of his life and uh, a big a big part of who he was or who he is. So, Hey, I'm excited for that, so keep yourself woke, people. Wake on up. My brother Ned said that he is the best quarterback in the MLB, and I think I have to agree with he that. He's definitely the best quarterback <laughs> in the MLB. And to touch on real quick before we get into the albums that drop tomorrow, um, yesterday we asked you, the poll just ended, do you care about a Spice Girl reunion because they are going out on tour? And 75% of people say no. No, that's wrong. Wait, Allie, Allie come Reed here. says that is wrong. Allie, we got to get your flame broil take. What? I need to get your flame broil take on this. Thanks. It's a trap. <laughs> All right, so... Mel B teased it yesterday, right, then it was hit, officially announced they're going out on hit tour. Hit us with your spicy, flame-broiled Spice Girls take. Well, I don't know. Okay, first of all, like, only the 75%. Like, if they're under the age of... The Spice Girls were big, like, 20 years ago. Right. So if you're under the age of 20, you probably don't even know who the Spice Girls are. That's Maybe. that's fair. But, I mean, I think that people are excited. It's girl power. It's fun. They're girl crazy. power. Um, will you go see them? If, um, if they were to come to, uh, if they were to come here, would you go to the show? Would you stay? Yeah. I mean, obviously, Fly would probably be a part of the show. Yeah, I would, would you totally like go. stay and be there? I and, would like... love. Like we did this on our Facebook page on Fly yesterday, and people were like, "Oh my god, I hope they come to Stack or the TU." And I'm like, "I hope so too, but I don't know if that's going to happen." Um, but yeah, I would see them. I would travel to see them too. Like they're at the garden. I would go down to see them. Now, is it the Spice Girls? If not, all of them return. They're all returning. Oh. The big, the big kind of hurdle was Victoria Beckham. Because she at first said she did not want to do it. And apparently she wants to kind of step out of her husband's shadow, David Beckham. And she wants to do her own thing and be recognized again. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Makes sense. So, Allie, why did you only like my tweet and not retweet it? Interrogation time. Are you trolling? You trolling me? I didn't know what this meant. Like, I, I assumed it was sarcasm. It was. They added this cool new feature to Twitter for things you like and agree with. It's called retweeting. You but I saw it. that I saw that you liked it and did not retweet. I don't know. I just thought it was. So She's funny. one of those people that liked no, it. I'm I one of the people that retweeted it. I know, Scott. I got five people that have my back, and then you and Rye guy were just like, you know, I'm just gonna hit the like. And then my roommate was like trolling me. He's like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just like it. Do you get offended so, if you don't get a retweet? Um, if it's good quality content, he's totally maybe, offended. Maybe a little bit, yeah. But I mean, no, it's it's. I felt like the directions were pretty pretty straightforward for that tweet. Yeah. But I guess they were more confusing than I thought. So, oh, I, was I that did. a directive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. It was like if you can read this, you should probably <laughs> you retweet. retweet it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know if you were like calling people no. for quoting tweets or like no. Content. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. In, instead of like swagger like, jacking other people's tweets. Here's this redundant thing. Tweet. It's very obvious. Got it. Yeah. Uh, it was, no, because I posted something that like a couple people liked, and I'm like, why wouldn't you just retweet this? Why wouldn't you tell every spread the good news? So then I, I got annoyed, and I I posted that. But anyway, thanks for right, thanks for know. clarifying that. <laughs> thanks, Allie. Bye. And thanks for breaking down the Spice Girl stuff because I didn't know any of that. Oh! <laughs> uh, and lastly, albums that drop tomorrow. We'll get into it here real quick. So what I do with my sheet? Oh, there it is. Tomorrow, February 9th, the albums that drop, and I'm gonna run through. 
I mean... There's like three or four you may have heard of. Right. So, I'll start off with MGMT. Okay. I'll leave somebody for you that I'm... That I think you're gonna. You think I'm gonna hit Dashboard Confessional? I do. Well, you're wrong. I was gonna hit David Duchovny, oh. who was Fox Mulder and still is Fox Mulder on the X Files because they brought it back for like season, like eleven, I guess. Okay. Um, There's a little fun so fact about him, which I did his... know, is every third thought. Yep. And then Franz Ferdinand's got an album coming out tomorrow. And what was Franz Ferdinand's song again? Take me out. That was their big. Their big song. That was played a lot on Fly, right? That was a big song, right? No, when I was there. That's from like 2007, 2006. But I don't think it was. Probably Allie, was. That was played a lot, right? That France... Take Me Out, Franz Ferdinand. <laughs> that was like a top 10 single, right? Okay. All right, it was well, in Guitar Hero. Back. Yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty big song. MGMT, also a little fun fact about their uh, or them. They they worked with, you know, Kit Cudi and all that stuff. Pursuit of Happiness. All that good stuff. And then um, Dark Age, Dashboard's album. uh, Crooked Shadows? Yeah. Uh, Dashboard Confessional is one of the true emo bands. You get a lot of lists on like BuzzFeed. Like, emo bands from the 2000s, Fall Out Boy, My Chemical Romance. Those are not emo bands. Like, Dashboard Confessional, Death Cab for Cutie, um, freaking Taking Back Sunday. The Get Up Kids. Yeah, like, these, these are real, like, trust us. We were there. Okay. Listen to their song Sailor and Saints. And after that, there's no way you could tell me they are not emo as emo gets. But anyway, um, another album that's not on this list that's coming out tomorrow is a Black Panther soundtrack. And I just feel like that's because it's a soundtrack. Yeah. But it's got Kendrick and um, The Weeknd. The Weeknd. Yeah, I was actually going to say Kendrick and uh, Two Chains. Yeah, two SZA's chains. featured. Um, Travis Scott, I think, is on there. Like a whole bunch of hip hop artists on it. So. Suppose, and then the movie comes out next week, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, me too. I'll see you at the following weekend, though. All right. All right, with that being said, uh, we'll be back at it Monday. Um, Cubicle Show, Monday through Thursday on oh, the Facebook shoot. page. What? You know what? I just thought. What? About. What are you doing? Open For up. all the people that don't retweet my tweet. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Even though I just spent the entire episode talking about how much I do. But anyway, I, I needed to work that in. Sorry. Okay, so catch us on the Facebook page Monday through Thursday, 10.30 Eastern Time. Because that's the only time zone that matters. One. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show! That's what I'm talking about, boy! Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah? Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah! Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Not a rectangle show. Not a triangle show. Not a pyramid show. It's a Cubicle Show. Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah? Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we just got one boy.